Hey everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and today I'll be showing you how to change the carrier logo on your iOS device without a jailbreak. Now I know I'm pretty far behind on this, but I haven't really wanted to do this until now. So I'll be showing you how to do this inside of Mac OS X using a free program called Carrier Editor. You can also do this inside of Windows using Custom Carrier Logo. Links to both of these will be down below in the written post in the description below. So let's go ahead and start the process. So here is the carrier editor DMG file. Inside of this, we have a README, some sample carrier logos that you could use from Zeppelin, and the app itself. So let's go ahead and open that up. So let's just close this window. So it says, welcome to carrier editor. Let's go to let's get started. So they need some quick info. They need the version number for your carrier. So let me do, go ahead and do that on my phone now. You can see my phone on the left side of your screen through AirPlay mirroring. So my carrier version number is 13.0. So I'm going to go to next. I am on an iPhone. My carrier is AT&T. Now not all carriers support custom images. So for example, Sprint in the US, they do not use custom carrier logos at all. They just used plain text in the status bar instead of an image like most carriers. So AT&T US, go to next. Now I just have to drag in the custom images that I would like to use. So I have them right here on my desktop. These are AT&T carrier logo. I've been using these images on my iPhone 3G and my iPhone 4 way back in the day when I was jailbroken. So we have FSO carrier, which is this one. So whenever your status bar is black, this is the image that will show up. And now for everything else, it will go ahead and be this one. So now it just made an IPCC file, which is an iPhone carrier uh, configuration. All I have to do is go into iTunes and install it. So I need to go open iTunes, like I just said. My iPhone should be in the left sidebar. Go ahead and click on that. Now I need to Alt click on check for update go to my desktop and now I can choose my custom IPCC file go to open and right now it's installing it onto my phone and if we switch back over to AirPlay you can see that my custom carrier logo has already been applied to my status bar right there so you can see how quickly it worked and it worked just fine so pretty cool stuff and I'm glad that I have my custom carrier logo back. I haven't seen this since I had my iPhone 4 back in September. So that's it. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that's it with this video. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon.